I'm sure you've seen by now the cold-blooded murder of an innocent man in Louisiana by two police officers and another all the way in Minnesota at a traffic stop. Then some individual decided, well, look, he's going to retaliate because he was angry of those killings and murdered four police officers and injured six. Now, that was bound to happen at some point in time. And it's unfortunate that these, that these innocent police officers had to lose their lives. But if you think that America should grieve for those police officers who were injured and lost their lives and not grieve for the two innocent black men who also lost their lives, you are the problem. Because all lives matter, right? Ever since the abolition of slavery, African Americans have been asking for one thing and one thing only. That is to be treated equally under the law. But there are some people in this country who are determined to treat us like second-class citizens. And it's unfortunate that this situation had to happen. And everybody seems to be tone deaf to our complaints. But fortunately, we have evidence in the forms of videotape, audio tapes, and emails of the hostility towards African American by police. So to those tone deaf people, I have to ask a question and as, as unfortunate as it may sound, it has to be asked. Do you hear me now? Good. Pay attention. Because if there's not criminal justice reform in this country, there's going to be more violence, more innocent people are going to lose their lives. Police must be held accountable for their violence against innocent civilians in the black community. We have to review the way police officers are trained and the way they are sent out to, to fill quarters and fill the coffers of city government. We are being abused in every corner that you could think of. But yet everybody think you are the problem. If you cannot hold a mirror up to your face and declare honestly that I am the problem, then we are not going to solve anything in this country. African Americans are equal citizens under the law, and as long as the flag is flying above the Capitol building in Washington, D.C., all rights are reserved. You have a good day.